Only 30 kilometers from Dublin, Minute Castle occupies a deceptively secluded spot in the center of the town. With well-kept grounds and plenty of greenery, there is a captivating exhibition in the keep on the history of the castle and the family. The ruins of the castle, which stands in the entrance to the south campus of Minute University, was constructed in the early 13th century. The area covered by modern Kildare was granted by Strongbow to Morris Fitzgerald, Lord of Lanstiven, in 1176. The original keep was constructed about 1203. The castle, built by Gerald Fitzmorris, fourth Lord of Offaly, second eldest son of Morris Fitzgerald, Lord of Lessenstein, at the junction of two streams in the late 12th century and became the home of Fitzmaurice and Fitzgerald family. From then on, it was expanded by Sir John Fitzgerald in the 15th century. Gerald Fitzmaurice's descendants became the Earls of Kildare and the Earls of Lancer, Lord Deputy of Ireland. The Fitzgerald's occupation of the castle ended with the 1534 rebellion of Silkerton Thomas and the son of the 9th Earl of Kildare. An English force led by Williams Skeffington bombarded the massive castle in March 1535. The heavy modern siege guns of the English army making ruins of much of the medieval castle. The castle fell after a 10 day siege and the garrison summary executed before the gates. Circleton Thomas was captured shortly after and committed to the Tower of London with five uncles. They were executed for treason on the 3rd of February 1527. The castle was restored in 1630-35 by Richard Boyle, 1st Earl of Cork after his daughter married George Fitzgerald, 16th Earl of Kildare. But much of the building was destroyed in the 1640s during the Eleven Years' War. Only the gay house, on which the arms of the boys of Fitzgerald's can still be viewed, and the solar tower survived. The Fitzgeralds left Minute for good and made Forest Key Castle and then Carlton House their family seat. Restoration work on the castle was restarted by the Office of Public Works in February 2000 to develop it into a heritage site. It is now open to the public from May to September. Today the partly ruined building remains a major tourist attraction and it's an amazing place to go visit. The area around is also lovely and with the college there it makes for a nice walk. So I highly recommend if you are ever in Minutes to pay it a visit. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did you might consider liking and subscribing. Thanks again.